Hello and welcome. My name is Josh Prokes. I am a customer engagement manager here at iTential. iTential is an Atlanta-based software and services company focused on accelerating the adoption of network programmability and automation to drive agility and cost reduction. We simplify the introduction of new technologies such as SDN, NFV, SDN-WAN, and orchestration by providing tools, capabilities, and expertise. With experience in a number of Cisco products, Itential has enabled customers to implement solutions spanning a wide range of use cases, including Layer 3 VPN, MOP and Runbook automation, policy management, and network automation. With a rich partner ecosystem, we have built strong relationships enabling our customers to leverage programmable network technology in all aspects of their business. An integral part of our portfolio is the Pronghorn application platform. Pronghorn enables use case driven solutions that coordinate between programmable network solutions such as Cisco's NSO, EPN Manager, and ESC. It mediates with data sources and support systems to streamline implementation and operationalization of the new solutions. Pronghorn is a multi-tiered platform and provides a user interface, unified workflow, automation, reporting, and consolidated northbound APIs. Today, we're going to demonstrate for you how we can take your maintenance activity procedures and build them into a workflow that interweaves both automated and manual tasks. This functionality is used to turn your MOP or runbook activities into easy to use, easy to update procedures that are more reliable, provide better auditing, and promote adherence of MOP guidelines. The activity we're going to walk through today is an actual customer maintenance procedure, which was initially crafted in an extensive Word document. We've since sanitized the information and data for the use of this demo. In order to properly execute this demonstration, we have a few systems collaborating with one another. The primary systems are Cisco NSO, or Network Service Orchestrator, the Itential Pronghorn Application Platform, and an instance of a Cisco CMTS device, otherwise known as a Cable Modem Termination System along with its associated CPE devices, or cable modems. For our demo today, we will leverage the following Pronghorn applications. They are Device Management, Job Manager, MOP, and Workflow Builder. For the sake of simplicity, we have previously opened a few browser windows for each of these applications for easier navigation during the course of the demo. Let's begin. The centerpiece of today's demo will be focused around Pronghorn's workflow engine. We've previously opened a separate browser window for this application. From the drop-down list, we will select the pre-built template for the CMTS upgrade. In this case, it's CMTS MOP S. As you can see here, workflow is a defined set of ordered tasks with pre-built templates for the purposes of providing a specific outcome in our demo today, the desired outcome is a successful software upgrade of the Cisco CMTS device. As we take a look at the overall workflow, you'll notice that it's comprised of several task blocks. You may have also noticed that the task blocks are color-coded. Green tasks are automatic functions. These can be a single command or a template of multiple commands with assigned rules. We'll touch on these templates and rule combinations later in the demonstration. Green tasks do not require manual intervention by the operator and are executed by the Pronghorn platform. Blue tasks are manual tasks and require the operator to act when presented with the actual task in their assigned work queue. An example of a manual task, which would be assigned to a Tier 1 NOC personnel, would be open remedy ticket, as seen here. Another example would be an evaluation task, such as free up disk space. 
This task would be addressed by the operator in the event there wasn't enough disk space to accommodate the software upgrade on the device. It is worth mentioning that all manual tasks within a workflow have an assignee. Groups such as network engineering, operations, planning, or administrators would be assigned to their appropriate task to take action. For our demo, we will assume these roles when these tasks are presented in the work queue. Let's take a moment to review a few task blocks. You may have noticed woven in amongst the automated and manual tasks several evaluation points in the workflow. These have been incorporated to provide the operator an opportunity to evaluate the output from the previous task. In the case of the automated task, Verify Disk Space, if the template fails to verify enough disk space, the workflow will be default to a manual task titled Free Up Space, and the operator can take corrective actions to free up the needed space on the device in order for the software upgrade and workflow to continue. Two other examples of evaluation points in our workflow are Image Integrity, which verifies the checksum of the file after having been downloaded from the TFTP file server and Verify Router Version, which confirms the CMTS device is running the new software version. We'd also like to draw your attention to the latter portion of the workflow, where a series of analytics tasks reside the automated post check. These tasks operate on the collected data throughout the course of the workflow to determine and confirm all aspects of the software upgrade have been executed successfully. We'll review these actions further in the demo. Lastly, it's worth noting that all logic and functionality used in the previously described tasks reside in our MOP application, which will be covered in a separate video. Before we kick off the workflow job, we're going to check the current software version that is running on the CMTS device using the Pronghorn Device Manager application. In Device Manager, Pronghorn provides the user the ability to communicate with a device via Cisco NSO. The device can either be physical or virtual in nature. For our purpose, the target device will be the Cisco UBR10K CMTS router. Within the application, we're going to leverage NSO's live status functionality to communicate with the CMTS device in a CLI type fashion. An operator would query the device for information, should they choose, prior to invoking the job. In this instance, we are using it today to display the current software version running on the device by typing the following Cisco IOS command, show ver. Here you can see from the printout, the current revision level of software is SCJ2 Alpha. We're going to change it to version SCI2 Alpha, and we'll see the software change reflected in the post-check system data. Now that we've covered Pronghorn's applications, let's kick off the workflow and start the job. For demonstration purposes, we will be manually entering the data needed to initiate the job. This data can be gathered from external systems and along the progress of the workflow via forms. Contained in our data are the following keys. Device name. Disk, both primary and standby. TFTP IP address of the server where the image will be pulled. Image name, package name, and associated checksums. The required CMTS interfaceage, which will be shut down during the software change. And the Cisco NSO NED, or Network Element Driver specific to this device. We'll hit start and initiate the job. So now that the job is running, let's review the process of the workflow in Pronghorn's Job Manager. The current running task is now highlighted, Remedy Ticket, which is a manual task. We will ask our Tier 1 NOT personnel to claim the task and open the ticket. 
For the next several tasks, which are all automatic, you will have time lapse to progress until the next manual task, which will be Confirm Router Backup. During this segment of the workflow, Pronghorn will take the following actions. Making a copy of the running configuration. Copying, verifying, and downloading the image from the TFTP file server to local disks. Checking integrity of the downloaded files. Performing device pre-checks. Setting and verifying boot parameters. Shutdown of the necessary CMTS interfaces. And reloading the CMTS device. At this point, Pronghorn already issued a reload command to the router. In order to confirm the router is online, we will go back into the Device Manager application and perform a check sync to verify the state of the router. We will ask our operations personnel to confirm the router is up and indeed operational. During this segment, Pronghorn is going to confirm the router is running the applied software version. Bring back up the interfaces that were previously shut down. Conduct device post checks and the subsequent manual tasks will be executed by our operations personnel. Operations will now review the MOP analytics from the work queue. One of the key outputs being reviewed is the number of cable modem devices that were operational on the CMTS router, both pre and post software change. Prior to the software change, we had 107 cable modems. 106 of them were in operation. Our MOP analytics requires the same total to be returned and at least 95% of the devices to be operational. As you can see, both failed. The reason for this is the nature of CMTS routers. There is an expected lag time for all the cable modem devices to fully recover after a reload. In light of this result, we are now going to ask our operations team to rerun the post check and analytics portion of the workflow. We will then reevaluate the results. Once again, we are going to review the MOP analytics output. As you can see this time, all cable modem devices have been fully restored. The post-check rerun is not necessary, and hence we will skip it along with the boot image deletion. The last two remaining manual tasks are a pre and post comparison and a summary review. Our operations team will perform a stare and compare of all data collected during the pre and post checks that were executed during the course of the workflow. We've color coded the text output for easy identification of command output values. Red equates to pre software change, green post software change, black the actual iOS command, and gray common or neutral values. The Minimal tab will show the same information as the Full tab, however, without the gray or common text. The Summary Review is the collection of all input and output data gathered over the duration of the workflow. This data is archived locally in Pronghorn's Mongo database. It is available and accessible by the customer for any of their future needs. This concludes our Pronghorn CMTS MOP automation demonstration. Thank you for your time and consideration.